All right, I just need to talk about the last episode of The Mandalorian and the finale because holy shit, I fucking loved it, first of all. But there's something I want to talk about more importantly than how much I loved it is uh, the people that are bashing on the CGI Mr. Skywalker, okay? Before I get into that, let me just talk about what I absolutely adored about this episode. It just made sense. Everything about it was phenomenal. It was magical. It really... It's the best thing Disney has done with Star Wars since they've acquired the property. And every second of it just felt like I'm watching something special here, something magical. These are characters I care about, characters I like that have been established and it makes sense in the story for them to be doing what they're doing. And that was a huge problem with Rise of Skywalker and The Last Jedi especially is characters' motivations didn't make sense and their commitments were kind of... So, wait, why are they doing this? Not that they, they wouldn't, like, this doesn't make sense with the story, and they're just dropping this in because, like, they want to, especially with Rise of Skywalker. None of that made any sense. They were just throwing everything on the wall and seeing what fans thought stuck. But The Mandalorian, things just made sense, and especially what makes sense is Luke Skywalker showing up at the end of this season. It was beautiful. Grogu puts out a call into the galaxy and says, I have the Force. Someone please train me. And who do we know that is starting a new Jedi Academy in the New Republic of the Galaxy? Luke Skywalker. So it makes sense for him to think, you know what? There are people that have the Force that need to be trained under my guidance. So he shows up. He fucks up the Dark Troopers. And he says, I'm a Jedi. I'm going to take Grogu. I'm going to train him. And ba-boom, bam, Bob's your uncle. I loved it. It was magical. It was brilliant. But then I'm seeing a little bit of, little bit of hate sprinkled on Twitter. And I'm thinking, okay. Um, well, actually, 99% of it is love. But then I see uh, something my brother sends me. And even my brother, he says, the CGI face just really takes me out of it. And uh, I can totally get that. The CGI face takes you out of it. Um, it did take me out of it a little bit. But I understand, well, they need Luke Skywalker in the story. So what are they going to do? Just not have him in there? Like, come on. Or... Even if he had his hood up, why would you keep your hood up when talking to people who are friendly and you want to appear like a respectable person? You're not going to be all shadowy and dark, right? So, Sebastian Stan should have been their first choice. And apparently he was their first choice, but he was out of the country or unavailable filming The Winter Soldier and the, their Falcon and Winter Soldier TV show. So, they have to do a little bit of CGI work with Mark Hamill, which is totally fine by me. The mouth movements, sure, they weren't spot on, but guess what? I could live with it. And, but I don't expect everyone to love it and not everyone did love it. But then I see this tweet from Jay Bauman from Red Letter Media, who I greatly love and I greatly respect. Uh, they are probably the best movie review channel on the planet. Jay Bauman said, just a reminder that we can cast real actors to play famous roles, even if they don't look identical to them, such as Dr. Sleep, which I wholeheartedly agree. But then he goes on to say, this was disgusting and embarrassing and just humiliating. And I was like, what are you talking about? And then everyone in the comments was saying, it looks so terrible. It looked like my PlayStation 1. It looked like The Rock in The Mummy, Scorpion King. Like, are you fucking stupid, bro? Just shut the fuck up. Like, okay, it literally looked like spot on. The only thing, the only thing was off a little bit was the mouth movements and the eyes just had that little bit of light, lifelessness to them. But it literally, it looked as good as The Irishman, which people were praising relentlessly. It looked better than Rogue One. It literally looked, it looked identical to Mark Hamill. But my brother said, yeah, it looks identical to Mark Hamill in the way Battlefront 2 looks identical to Mark Hamill. There is something about it that keeps it with an animation look to it. Totally fine. I totally get that and to some extent agree. But the people who say it's embarrassing and disgusting. What the fuck are you talking about? It literally looked like a bang on the money, Mark Hamill. Like, and I'm not like a Star Wars worshipper by any means at all. I'm not like a violent hater or violent lover of Star Wars. I like, I like the product. I, I, you know, I do love the product, but I still love movies as an art form before I love a property. So I'm not going to blindlessly or I'm not going to blindly worship any intellectual property. I'm going to appreciate the movie for what it is and how it is, which is why I love the Mandalorian so much because it functions and works as a story. And I like the characters. So when I see all these people on Twitter, just coming down so hard on CGI Luke Skywalker, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, what did you expect, man? 
concessions have to be made when Sebastian Stan is unavailable to play Luke Skywalker because he looks identical to Luke Skywalker. And I am supremely confident we will see Luke Skywalker again, whether it's Mandalorian Season 3 or a Luke Skywalker show about him training his new Jedi Academy, which ends with Kylo Ren going crazy on everyone. And it is not going to be deep fake CGI Luke Skywalker. It's going to be Sebastian Stan. They literally have him on the Disney payroll in the Marvel franchise. There's and it, there's no way they could keep up CGI Luke Skywalker for multiple seasons or multiple full episodes in broad daylight of a show. It just wouldn't work. It just wouldn't work. And here's the thing. I don't expect them to do that. And I don't think they're going to do that. They are going to use Sebastian Stan. So I don't know. I just wanted to really come on here and talk about how ridiculous it is that people say, it looks disgusting. It's embarrassing to the character. What a disgrace. It looks so bad. It literally, I, like, what more could you want? I that's the real question I'm asking is, what more could you want out of that CGI Luke Skywalker? And if you say, I want a real actor, guess what? We were going to get a real actor, but Sebastian Stan was unavailable because he was filming The Winter Soldier. So like, buddy... There's nothing that could be done. They had to use CGI Luke Skywalker. So, ra -ta 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 -ta, just pipe down a bit, buddy. Like, <laughs> it looked so good. So, it just, I don't, I totally get into some extent agree. If you're like, uh, the animation just kind of brings me out because it's not a real human being. And it's just kind of odd to me. Totally get that. Totally love it. Respect it. Great point. Totally see where you're coming from. But what moron is like, but what moron is saying it's disgusting, it's so bad, it looks like my Fallout 76. Like, bro, it literally looks damn near perfect, so you guys need to stop exaggerating for clout and retweet from Mandalorian haters and Star Wars haters and people that want to like, oh, ble like hype you up because you're a famous movie reviewer. Like, you guys are so out of, out of the ballpark with this take like holy smokes buddy the point is it was magical i really i'm in such a good mood and my whole day has been made just to see luke skywalker treated with respect and dignity and doing his hero thing and don't get me wrong i like that uh, luke skywalker became learned that the jedi was kind of a bunch of bullshit later on down the line i don't think ryan johnson really tackled the story appropriately because it didn't make sense to luke character like Luke wouldn't kill his father who literally committed multiple genocides, but he was going to kill Kylo Ren in his sleep because he had a bad dream about him. Like, it just, it just doesn't make sense to me. That's a whole other video. But point is, Sebastian Stan, Mark Hamill, Jay Bauman, I love all three of you guys, but sometimes you just got to accept that concessions have to be made for the art of the story sometimes. God, I love The Mandalorian.